can. Wherever I go, traveling around the Central Coast, I get asked by customers, what's a Class C, what's a Class B, what's a B plus, what does it do, what are the differences? And right now, we have a huge inventory. Can you explain to the folks exactly what they all mean, starting back here? Absolutely, Michael. Uh, a B class is simply a motorhome inside of an ordinary van. So if you took an ordinary van and put what you find in a larger A class inside of it, that would be called a B class. I'm standing in front of two B classes right now. Yep. The one on the right is a gas B class. The one on the left is a Sprinter Mercedes diesel B class. Okay. You got different economies in terms of the mileage between the two, but they both give you the same purpose. A compact RV to travel around this in. This is not for taking the kids. No, absolutely. Yes, you can, Michael. You, it's got several different seating options available in these. You can seat in some models, maybe five, and others up to seven. Okay. Fantastic. So it could be a multi-purpose vehicle. It could be a secondary family vehicle, even. All right. And these two are road trucks? Yes, these are road trucks. These are made in Canada. Uh-huh. Been around for 25-plus years. Okay. Uh, very reputable organization. Okay. And this one? This one here is also, no, this here, excuse me, Michael, this is an Airstream B van. Ah. So it's also similar to the Road Trek in that it's on a Sprinter Mercedes diesel chassis. Okay. Again, able to accommodate up maybe five, six, up to seven adults. Okay. Now, the difference between the two, is there a price difference or a price point? I'd say it's probably about, uh, I'd say five to ten thousand dollars difference between the two different manufacturers based on some of their options that you can find on their products. So a little bit more finery in the Airstream model, maybe, than the road track. Yes, uh, one simple explanation. Very similar chassis. This is a standard chassis. This has the actual sensors for parking. So something as simple as that difference ah. is a variation between those two products. Got it. So you have sensors, you have all the, the finest products in the Airstream, and a few less amenities and the road track. Exactly. Both oh. of you the same benefits. Okay. So we have different colors, different seating arrangements, right? Absolutely. Now I can see that this one has only two seats and that one has four. Correct. This here is a Road Trek Agile. They make a smaller version of the Sprinter chassis that seats five. Okay. It'll be the, probably the most economical fuel-wise between the, the Sprinter chassis. Right. Roughly about 20 to 22 miles per gallon. Okay. Oh, really? Impressive. Oh, yeah. That's impressive. This could be a secondary family vehicle quite handily. And this almost could be go wine tasting or real estate or whatever like that. This could be your office on wheels. Fantastic. Multifaceted, easy to maneuver and park and drive. Yep. Still an RV. Still an RV. And the one behind us I see only has one seat in the back. Correct. This is going to be a six-seater as opposed to a seven as opposed to a five. Oh, okay. Now this is starting to make sense. So these are all Sprinter chassis, different lengths, different seating arrangements, uh, different sleeping arrangements, and fuel economy even different based upon size. Absolutely. Okay. Tell me about what that is. Now this here, you can use the word hybrid or B+. Plus. <laughs> okay. What we're talking about here is taking a C class and making it a little bit smaller. Uh -huh or taking a B class and making it a little roomier. Okay. So a B plus is in between a B and a C. Okay, and it's obviously a little taller. So yes. So you're gonna lose fuel economy? You might lose a little bit, but you gotta gain some space. You're gonna have a larger bathroom accommodation, a larger sleeping accommodation, because the width is wider than a traditional B. And I also see a slide up. Absolutely, gives you more room with that as well. Okay. But this is still on a Sprinter chassis. This is still right? a Mercedes diesel Sprinter chassis. Okay. So, we're going down now and we have a Tasker products again, thank goodness. And here we have a Cambria. Now, that doesn't look like a C and doesn't look like a B. What the heck is that? This is going to be, be a B, plus, but it's going to have a Ford V10 engine power plant as ah. opposed to a Sprinter. Okay. So, you're going to lose some economy yep. but gain a lot of power. A lot of power to tow. A lot of power to climb hills. Uh, it just really depends on whatever application you're looking for with that particular RV. Okay, now this has slide out. It has uh, a lot of really nice looking stuff. Is it 
in a different price range because it's a gasoline coach? I'm so glad you asked, Michael. Yes. The Sprinter chassis is a little bit more expensive. The gas version is going to be a little bit more affordable. Okay. So we're so you talking... You lose fuel economy, but you gain price. Yes. And you gain space. And you gain space. And it's a little larger. Now we're talking about 27 feet, Michael, ah. not 24 and not 22. And we didn't talk about lengths. So are they 16, 17? They're probably as small as 17, all the way up to about 30 feet. Okay. Generally speaking. All right. So this is a 27? Yes. And does this have a bed up top? Does not. It will typically have an entertainment up top. So this is typically what someone, an older family might in inquire about because they don't need the extra You're sleeping. talking about me again. Aren't you? Mature people, ourselves, <laughs> Michael. Yes, mature people. Okay. Okay. So this is a B plus Winnebago model Cambria, yes. right? Yes. Now, what about this four winds? What does this mean? This four winds is your traditional C class, and that basically means it's going to have an overhead sleeping bed. It's going to protrude beyond the cab of the vehicle. So if you look at them closely, you'll notice that this has a lot more overhang yep. than this does, which pro provides space for another bed overhead. Okay. Does it lose fuel economy because of that? It's going to lose a little more fuel economy because of that. It's sort of a wind cell, if you will. So it won't get 22 miles a gallon. It might get 10 or 12. All right. And this is a Ford? Ford V10 power plant. All right. And I can see a big slide out on the side of it. Absolutely. Are these two the same price range? No. Like a fine watch, the smaller the RV, typically the more expensive it is. This is more affordable than this smaller version because this is like a fine watch. The smaller the space, the more expensive it is to produce it. It's very labor intensive to put it together. Okay. So, less expensive. Yes. A little bit more expensive. Yes. And a little bit more expensive because it's a spinner chassis. Yes, absolutely. So we have multiple price ranges. Yes. Gas and diesel. Yes. Different lengths. Correct. All in one store at one place? All here at Sky River RV and beautiful Paso Robles. Have, since you, you've been around five years here, right? Four just, or five years? Just about four or five years. Have you ever seen inventory as big as this? This is the most impressive inventory selection we've had in the last three and a half, four years. It's impressive, Michael. It's impressive. And we want to impress you by coming down here and seeing Ken, because he can explain to you the workings of all these coaches. We don't have time today. We have to have a two-hour program to go all, all through each and one, every one of these coaches. But let's go down one further. Certainly. Okay? Absolutely. All right. So we got Fords. We got Sprinter chassis. We got larger. We got shorter. We got better fuel economy. And right down here, we have a Chevrolet. Now, that's the only Chevrolet in the whole group. That's absolutely correct. Chevy is one of the uh, engine manufacturers for the C-Class. So okay. it's going to be a 6.0. This is going to be a 6.8. V8 versus V10. Ah, all right. So this is about 31 or 32 feet. Yes. Chevrolet. Correct. Versus the other. Now, is there a difference in the fuel economy in the Chevrolet versus the Ford? I just say, Michael, they're very comparable because we're talking 6.0 versus 6.8. Uh, you, and this is a little bit larger engine than the Ford versus the Chevy, but we're looking at a shorter coach and a longer coach. So they're going to be comparable. But some of us love Chevys, some of us love Ford. That's so here cool. at Sky River, we have a variety. Yeah. We have a one-shop one shop stopping experience right here in Paso Robles. And that's, I think that's one of the most important parts of this whole entire thing is if you're a Chevy guy, a Ford guy, if you like diesel versus gas, if you like big versus small, if whatever your needs are, this group brings it to you. I don't think anybody else, anywhere else within 200 miles of us has this kind of quality product. I couldn't agree more, Michael. This is a huge selection. You don't need to go anywhere. You can come here and shop with us, visit with us. We have an enormous selection. You can find something you like. We can make it affordable for you. We can make it fun. We look forward to seeing you here soon. What's your name again? I'm Ken Scott with Sky River, and we appreciate your time. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Ken. Outstanding, Michael. All right. Thank you. Good as usual.